Welcome to the show. Today we're going to reminisce high school story, the original trilogy, and our love interest character, and how were they? So you know, it's it's a very famous book of choices. People like high high school story, the original trilogy. You know, so uh, as a main character, our personality, we are originally, sh- uh, you know, we were shown to be very shy since they're a new student at Oliver M. Very high, you know. We were sort of, you know, figuring out who to talk to at first before we stumble upon Emma. But we'll quickly become the nucleus of a close group of friends including Emma, Caleb, Michael, Aiden and Maria. That's our, all of them are our love interests. And we'll eventually have the choice to join the football team, cheerleading squad or marching band. And we won't face any restrictions on our activities based on gender. So then... We're gonna go to Emma. Emma is the first friend we make at Oliver M. Berry High and one of our love interests. She is in the same homeroom as us. And we have the choice to romance her and pursue a relationship in book 2, chapter 15. Or help Nishan and Myra have her play with Louis on an online game. But, you know, so, but I think like I went with Emma. Let me know guys who you dated. Caleb. Caleb is a football player and one of our love interests. He's in the same homeroom as us. In book one, you can and Caleb find out that Zoe cheated on him with Brian. And you help him recover even though throughout book one, we're able to flirt with him. He tells you that he is still trying to recover. You have the choice to romance him and pursue a relationship in book two, chapter 15 or help him trying to impress Jed. Now, Michael, Michael, a lot of people liked him, is a slacker and one of our love interests. He's in the same homeroom as us. In book one, after Brian transfers to Hurst High, you ask him to try out for quarterback position for the football team. And that was epic. But he refuses twice. However, he eventually accepts our offer after the Ollie the Tiger statue is vandalized. And we get to know about his, you know, his history, like he was first, you know, at uh, Hearst, but he didn't feel like at home there. And then he finally came to Barry and that statue meant a lot to him. There was a diamond scene. If you played, you know it. Sharing with you how important Oliver M. Barry High School is to him. In book two, we get suspicious over the closeness between him and Maria, thinking they might be in a relationship only to reveal that they are helping each other investigate Principal Isa. We can romance him and be in a relationship with him in book 2, chapter 15 or not. In book 3, chapter 8, Michael gives us a clover keychain for good luck if we are dating him. Now, Aiden. Aiden is a part of the school marching band and one of our love interests. After the failed heart halftime show in a football game against Staten High, he loses his inspiration and we help him get the inspiration back in book 2. We feel guilty that Aiden got suspended due to breaking Louis's arm and that you take it seriously what both his parents tell you that you are a bad influence for him. He denies that we are and that we are one of the best things that happened to him. We can choose to romance him and be in a relationship with him in book 2, chapter 15 or we can help him ask Cameron to go to prom with him in the third book like Jade, Cameron, they are all Hearst High. They transferred to Berry High because you know in third book we see like Hearst High getting burned down. Next up Maria. Maria is in charge of the homecoming comedy and one of our love interests. After involving yourself in a feast fight between Caleb and Brian, the three of you are forced to help with homecoming. But Brian refuses to join. However, after losing a football game against Staten, we help Arya rebuild school spirit. In book 2, we become suspicious towards the closeness between her and Michael, thinking they might be in a relationship, only to find out they are working with each other to investigate Principal Isa. We have the choice to romance her and be in a relationship in book 2, chapter 15 or not. So, that's all our love interest. And to be honest, I liked all the allies from in a high school story. Beat Emma, beat Caleb, beat Michael, beat Aiden, beat Maria. And they, each individual... They, you know, each individual represented a different thing. You know, each individual stands for different things. Like, you know, you look at Emma. 
and you look at like different you know stories different backgrounds their involvement is different you know maria at the end of book 1 and the uh, at the start of book 1 and the end of book 3 totally different persons Caleb, how much he has changed. Michael, how much he was sort of like, you know, you remember Morgan with those, you know, green hairs who is like a very dangerous kid. So he was like her, but he's still risky. Like he likes to ride on her bike, my, on his bike, Michael, I'm talking about. But we have gotten to know them and each and every character, like they are dear. Yeah, of course, like uh, the other characters like Julian or, you know, like autumn paden they're from the original hss game of choices but like with all of them the three books have been uh you know gold to us and let me know guys how did you like playing this book who did you date what you like you know high school story of choices let me know everything thank you guys for listening in and let me know your thoughts bye